Welcome back. In this video, I'll be doing a short tutorial on the sort of thing that I did in my previous video, where I copied entity data into an item and then used it for later. Uh, in this video, I'll be doing a fairly simplistic version of that, entirely with commands, no functions, no data packs, nothing, just a general discussion and showcase of how to do it. So what we have in front of us here is a pig that's named with the saddle. And we're going to start off by just getting his data. So let's go ahead and just have him in our focus. And we will data get entity and just his exact UUID. And as you see, we have all of his information here. So what we're actually going to start out by doing is we're not going to be touching him just yet. We're going to toss an item onto the ground. And then we are going to type a command in. Now I'm just going to paste this, but I'll be talking about what everything here does. So we're doing data merge entity. Then we're just doing the item that we've just dropped on the ground. There's only one item in this world, and it's that item right there. And then we're putting a very specific set of information on it. We are setting up an array with eight strings. We're not going to use these eight strings. We're just going to be using the first one. But uh, I'm just showing that you can set up pretty much any amount of strings that you want inside of this array that you can create. And let's go ahead and do that. So now this stone block here, this item, has a tag on it. And that will not stack with any other stone blocks, as you can see. Those are two completely separate because this has a tag on it. We can even showcase that by... Can I select an item and do this? Uh, data get entity. I cannot. Uh, well, what you'll see... Let's actually go ahead and do that. Slash data get entity at E type equals item limit equals one. And as you can see right here, we have all of the normal information. And then once we get to the tag for the item itself, because starting right here is the item, then we have ID stone count one. And in the tag here, we have storage, and there's our strings inside of that array. So what we're going to do is we are going to copy all of the information from our pig over here, and we are going to place it into the item. Now doing that, or to do that, we're doing data modify entity, and we are selecting the only item in the world right now, which is the item in front of us. And we are selecting that uh, string right here in the array. We're selecting position zero in the array, which is this one right here. One would be this, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that corresponds to as many as you have. You can put basically an infinite amount of strings inside of that array. And you just have to select them by number here. And we're setting that information inside of that string from entity at E and the pig right here. And we have no selectors for path because we are copying all of his information into that item. So doing that, now we can go back and we can look at that. Up here, we have all of the items information. Then starting right here, the item ID tag storage, and then starting here in the storage, we have all of the pigs information. You can look at it starting here uh, and we can go all the way down to here where we see the rest of these strings, this is where the end of that is, and that is the last of the pig's information. And if we scroll back up here and we look at that, his hurt time is 0s right there. So that is copied onto there. So now we're just going to grab our item here, and we're going to get rid of Mark. We do not need him. So what we are going to do is we're going to place down a pig, we're going to toss down this item, and we're going to grab my next command which will take all of the information that we've copied from the previous pig entity. As you can see here, data, data modify entity at E type equals pig. We're selecting the pig. We're taking all of his data and we're merging it. Instead of setting it, we're merging it because we are basically overlaying it from the items storage at slot zero in the array. Doing that, we basically teleport him here and now he has all of this information that he had before. Now, the reason he teleports is because we did not get rid of the position tag. So let's do that again. Let's get rid of him. And let's place another pig down. And what we're going to do is we are going to take this command and data remove entity on the item 
item tag storage zero dot pause the position value right here if we look if we can find it the position value is a set of three doubles and we do not need that so we can remove that now if we run that command from before we now have the exact same entity but instead he's right here instead of being placed over there so let's get rid of this guy again and now what we're going to do is we are going to place him again like that so now we have the exact copy once again and what we're going to do instead of putting it into just an arbitrary tag we are going to put it into a spawn egg that will create an exact duplicate so to do that what we are doing is we're going to be running the data modify command data modify entity onto the item and instead of item tag and storage an arbitrary uh, array or not an arbitrary array an arbitrary string what we're doing is we are putting it in the entity tag data for a spawn egg now doing that allows us to essentially spawn this pig with a spawn egg so let's get rid of him once again and now we spawn that and there he is the reason he spawns back here is because we did not get rid of his position value so let's go ahead and do that real quick we will drop that down onto the ground and we are going to essentially do the same exact thing that we did before and we're just going to do it on the item tag entity tag dot position so let's go ahead and take that and now we will spawn this pig wherever we are looking whenever we use a spawn egg the uh, the reason right there we cannot spawn two is because we already have a UUID for that exact pig in the world so it is invalid if we try to spawn a second one but that is basically it that is how you do the data modify command to copy entities into items and then back out again thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all next time